Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia in day 39 of our Marchese Vocal Challenge. Today, we're going to be looking at exercise 56. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your lives. So this exercise is a little bit tricky because we change directions in the scale. So this is going to be kind of the beginning introduction as we move through more complicated patterns with skips and turnbacks. So be really confident that you're locked into the plan of this exercise before you go to execute it vocally, because if you try to put the vocalism before you really understand what's happening conceptually, you're gonna find a little bit of a problem in the throat. So if you notice here, we go from the bottom octave to the top octave move up by a step, then come back down, then circulate back, come back down, all the way down again. So we have these motions. And you can think about it kind of like physics. Changing motions in singing is actually difficult because if you think about what has to happen, is the cord has to thin, and it doesn't just continually thin. If you come back down immediately, it has to thicken again. So we've got this happening of thickening and thinning that has to occur on the turn of a dime. And that's why changing directions can be difficult. So this is why it's important to practice this slowly without any feelings of grabbing in the throat first so that you can get used to that motion, which then can happen quicker. If you're continuously moving up, you're constantly just moving the thinning out in one direction. So you can do that more easily same with if you're coming down, you can thicken gradually. But if you all of a sudden have to change directions, that's what, that is what makes it so difficult. So all of these exercises that we're starting to move into change directions quite a bit. And think about that as we move into that and why that can be hard. And so you really wanna look at those points that get muddy might be the points where the registration is not very clear and you're not thickening or thinning out correctly enough. And here is exercise 56. Oh. 